Today, I'm gonna to answer the question, what is it like moving from California to Utah? Californians are moving to Utah in record numbers, and it's not just people, entire companies are moving here. Since COVID-19, I've been bombarded by phone calls from Californians who are considering a move to Utah. For this reason, I thought I should dedicate a video to my brothers and sisters from the Golden State. Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy, and if you'd like to stay up to date on the latest real estate tips and trends, subscribe to my channel below and ring that little bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Okay, Utah is an incredible place to live, but it's not for everyone. In today's video, I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of living in Utah. But before I get started, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or you're welcome to call, text, or email me anytime. I'll gladly help you find the location that best fits your lifestyle and the perfect home. And when you work with me, you'll be treated like your family. Okay, let's get started by comparing the two states to one another. There are some huge advantages for Californians moving to Utah. Number one, the cost of living in Utah is much lower than California. A lot of people sell their home in California and pay cash for their house here, or at least put down a huge down payment. How crazy is that? I know that home values vary drastically from one location to another in California, but our medium home value in Utah is about half of what it is in the Golden State. That means for many of you who've been paying rent in California, you can move to Utah and buy a house instead. I recently met a family that was paying $2,400 per month for rent in California. I found them a home in the $400,000 price range with a mortgage payment below $2,000 per month. How cool is that? By moving from California to Utah, they were able to become homeowners for the first time. Another family that I recently met with sold their home in Sacramento and bought their dream home, a huge house with a large yard for less than $550,000. Now, I know that for many of you, buying a home for a half million dollars is too much. Well, I have good news. In Utah, even if you like to be fairly close to Salt Lake City, you can buy a home in the $350,000 to $400,000 price range. And I'm not talking about a condo or a town home. I'm talking about an actual single family home. That being said, the cost of living in Utah is quickly increasing as loads of Californians and people from other states continue to move here in record numbers. Long story short, a move from California to Utah can be financially beneficial in a way that will drastically increase your quality of life. For those of you that don't know, the advantages of home ownership significantly outweighs the benefits of paying rent. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video, but I will put a link to my video on renting versus buying below. Another bonus is that California is super close to Utah. So if you're leaving family and friends behind, it's just a quick drive or flight away. As a matter of fact, the distance is less than 700 miles from Salt Lake City to Los Angeles. That's only about a nine hour drive, unless you get caught in that wonderful California traffic. Speaking of traffic, Salt Lake is notorious for bad traffic, bad drivers, and constant road construction. But I still prefer Utah's rush hour traffic over California's, and I'm betting you'll agree too. If you're looking for employment, I have incredible news for you. Utah consistently has one of the best job markets in the entire country. So there's a great chance you'll be able to quickly find a high paying job. Due to the insane job growth from the tech industry, banking, healthcare, and well, really there's too many to name, Utah's unemployment rate is dropping and it continues to be among the lowest in the country. These crazy low unemployment numbers are making Utah's job market very competitive, forcing companies to pay you better. So that's amazing. I have a quick question for you. Why are you considering a move to Utah? Seriously, I want to know. Please leave a comment below. Also, if you find this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that 
more than you know, and that thumbs up will help others see that this video is helpful. Thanks. Now for my favorite subject, politics. Not. I actually hate to talk politics, but it can't be ignored, especially when you're comparing Utah to California. Utah is one of the most conservative places in the United States, and California, well, it's basically the opposite. So when you move here, be ready for a totally different lifestyle. It is what it is, but I should warn you, Utahns will fight to keep it that way. If you're very liberal, there's a really good chance that you won't like it here. That being said, there are a few locations around the state that are less conservative. While we're on the subject of Utahns, I should warn you that they are very friendly, sometimes too friendly. It might actually make you feel uncomfortable, but many Utahns really do want to get to know you. The diversity in Utah is also lacking, but Utah is not a racist place. Due to the lack of diversity, situations may arise where someone might be offended, but rarely, if ever, do I see racism. As a matter of fact, I think Utahns strive not to judge others for being different. I should also touch on the Mormons real quick, since 50% of the people that live in Utah are Mormon or belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Some people that I talk to that are moving here from out of state are concerned about living among the Mormons, but I can say with complete confidence that this is not something to be concerned about, and you may actually prefer it. At least that's what I've seen with many who move here that do not belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Mormons, or members of the LDS faith, are actually very accepting, honest, hardworking, and they love to serve their community. As a matter of fact, don't be surprised if half the neighborhood shows up to help you unload your moving van. I'm not kidding. Utahns are also very generous. Utah is the number one state for the percentage of residents who donate their time and their money. Utah is also an incredibly safe place to live. Our violent crime rate is well below the national average. Theft, on the other hand, is nothing to brag about, but I think the higher theft is due to the fact that many Utahns just leave their stuff lying around, making it too easy for thieves. If you put your stuff away and lock things up like most people do in other states, you should be just fine. Where I live in Eagle Mountain, I rarely hear about any kind of theft or violent crimes. Utah seems almost immune to the evil things happening around the world, including high taxes. Now, I know I don't need to say it, but the nightlife in Salt Lake City is nothing compared to most places in California. If you like bars and clubs, this might not be the place for you. I'm just saying. We're also seriously lacking when it comes to professional sports. We only have the Utah Jazz and the Real Salt Lake. It's kind of a bummer, but just like California, we have loads of entertainment for kids and families. Now, clearly, we can't compare with Disneyland, SeaWorld, Universal Studios, Six Flags, and all those others. California has six or seven amusement parks that are better than the one that we have called the Lagoon. Yeah, the Lagoon is a pretty cool place, but, well, let's just move on to the great outdoors. When it comes to nature and outdoor activities, it's tough to beat what Utah has to offer. We have five national parks and each one of them is amazing and unique in their own way. Seriously, people come from all over the world to visit these amazing locations. And our majestic mountains provide loads of hiking and biking trails, many of which lead to some of the most beautiful waterfalls you'll ever see. We also have loads of clean streams, rivers, and lakes. Of course, our wonderful lakes are no comparison to California's beaches and the ocean. I passionately love surfing and enjoy trips to Huntington Beach with my brother to catch some waves. But if you move to Utah, you'll need to trade in that surfboard for a snowboard. I know that California gets some snow, but the state of Utah can get pounded by the white stuff. There's no way for me to sugarcoat it. Utah can get cold, and to be honest, the weather here can be bipolar, especially in the spring and fall, so you pretty much need to bring a jacket wherever you go. 
Unfortunately, when you move to Utah, you'll be saying bye-bye to that year-round sunshine and trading it in for the four seasons and probably a white Christmas. If you're planning to move to Utah or just visit and you're looking for fun and exciting things to do, I have another YouTube channel that shows you what it's like to do many of the different outdoor activities here in the great state of Utah. Seriously, you'll want to check it out. I'll put a link to this channel below. If you have questions about buying, selling, or building a home here in Utah, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to contact me directly. If there's something in this video that stood out to you as being helpful, please let me know by commenting below. If you have questions, or if I left something out, please help the community by leaving a remark below as well. Sincerely, I want to hear from you. If you know someone who's thinking about moving to Utah, be a friend and share this video with them. And please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty, the real estate guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.